English Nomad here, Mike, and in today's episode, I'm going to um, I'm going to address <clears throat> one of the biggest bugbears I have with the Land Cruiser. I think it's a fantastic vehicle, but it is flawed in a few what I consider to be fundamental ways. Um, one of those ways is the uh, quality of the audio system. Now, <clears throat> the head unit itself that comes in the uh, Land Cruiser is a fairly decent head unit. It's a bit on the basic side, but it does have Bluetooth. It does have a CD player. Um, so it has all of the basic functions that I require in a head unit. Um, the only thing that I find is a, a letdown is the quality of the speakers. Um, the speakers that are installed in the Land Cruiser are a very small speaker mounted in the dashboard um, just down here in the uh, in the sides of the dash where it comes down they're only a small speaker they're about I'm guessing probably around four inch diameter and because of the way that they're mounted and the type of speaker that they are the quality of the sound that comes out of them is pretty poor they don't um, cover the entire frequency range that you would expect in um, a, a car speaker um, so I'm going to address that in today's video by installing some new speakers now <clears throat> in order to install speakers in the Land Cruiser I can't fit a better speaker here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount some new speakers in the doors here and in order to do that, I've had to make some speaker pods. So what I've done, I've got one here. Um, this is the speaker pod that I've made. It's uh, made from marine, marine grade plywood, which has been fiberglass laminated and then carpeted. And being marine grade plywood it's going to be very durable and with the fiberglass coating it's going to be very tough so it'll take a knock and with the carpet it's going to look an awful lot better than if I just put it in without any carpet on it so that's the speaker pod that will be mounted here as you can see it will fit down here in the on the door and the speakers that I've gone for are an Alpine speaker they are the um, RS 69Rs which are the I guess the Alpine top of the range 69 speakers that they do these are a, um, will, will deliver a, a good level of bass they will also they've got the built-in tweeters so they'll also deliver the higher frequency ranges as well and these should be a significant improvement over the original factory fitted speakers which in conjunction with the head unit that's already fitted I should see a, a marked improvement in the audio quality the speakers being the weak link in the system so what I need to do is first of all I need to remove the door card take off the door pocket and then mark where it's going to fit fit the um, the speaker pod and then mark the hole where I need to cut cut the hole in the door card and then once that's done I can then transfer that hole onto the inner door skin and cut the hole for the speaker to go through into the door cavity so um, without any further I do I will get straight into it I've got my cup of tea here so I can have a it's a very hot day here in Perth mm. so I'm gonna stay hydrated with my uh, favorite beverage so um, I'll get straight into it so in order to uh, get the door cards off I have to re remove a couple of screws and once the screws have been removed I should be able to just pull the door card straight off it's only held on with plastic clips
There is a switch here which is for the electric windows. I need to undo that. Just tuck that in there out of the way. And now the screws have been undone, I should be able to just get something behind here. So that's the door card off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the door pocket. Unfortunately, by mounting these uh, speaker pods, I'm going to lose the door pocket. But I'm not too phased about that because I don't really use the door pockets to store anything. With the uh, 2017 single cab, on the driver's door there is a, a plastic panel in the driver's door I'm not sure what it's there for I believe it might be for the uh, additional airbags that this vehicle has fitted but because of that I've had to rather than put the speakers in this position here which a lot of people do um, I put the speaker further over this way which means I won't have enough space left for the door pocket. But like I say, I'm not too uh, particularly phased by that. So that's the, uh, the door card now without the uh, door pocket and the speaker pod's gonna fit here. So, um, I'll carry on and do that now. I'll just uh, trial fit it and put a couple of temporary screws in there just to uh, hold it in place. I just need to whip this speaker out. I've already pre soldered the cable onto the speaker. The, uh, the speaker. I'm going to just put it in the footwell here for the time being. I've um, used high quality speaker wires um, for the uh, for the installation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'm just going to put this on here, fit it up. It's been designed to follow the contours of the uh, original speaker, uh, sorry, door card. And the radius is of the... Uh, just make sure I get a nice gap all the way around. A consistent gap all the way around. Okay, so I'll just put another screw in it temporarily so that I can uh, mark the hole on the card and then cut the cut the hole out using my jigsaw. I'm just using uh, wood screws. I'm not going to go too deep. <coughs> so that's uh, as you can see that's in there now. I'll just get my texture.
First of all, I'm just going to remove the uh, vinyl. Taking my time to uh, follow the line. I'll just drill a pilot hole for the jigsaw. Sure that I do a quality job. Isn't that right, mate? So that's now got the hole cut in it. What I will do now is I will refit the pod once I've refitted the pod I can then mark the hole in the door just making sure I've got a consistent consistent line all the way around here it's uh, equi equi aligned or equally aligned couple of screws in there just to hold it and then I'll flip it over and put the screws in all the way around. It's actually quite a quick job to do, it's not rocket science, it's just having the uh, confidence to, uh, to tackle it. The uh, speaker pods that I made, I made myself, I designed them myself and uh, saved myself quite a bit of money. They're um, typically you'll pay around $300 for a pair of uh, speaker dot door pods for a Land Cruiser. The materials for this job I already have, so there was no cost in the materials and the uh, only thing I had to uh, put in was the labour and uh, yeah, it's very satisfying saving yourself $300 if it only means that you have to spend a few days tinkering with it actually I think all up I probably spent a couple of hours making these speaker pods Hi, thanks for joining me again I'm just in the process of cutting out the hole in the door which I marked off the uh, door card once I installed the uh, <coughs> the speaker pod so I'm using my nibbler shear and the reason I'm using this over a jigsaw is I'm not going to get the door cavity full of metal filings because this basically like it's like a panel if you remember the old tins of spam when you open the tins of spam it pulled out a strip of metal 
this is exactly the same thing. It's a bit slower than a jigsaw, but it's certainly less messy. And you don't want a load of metal filings inside your door cavity. And this certainly eliminates that. It's a bit slower. <coughs> So what I'll do is there's a couple of little small sharp edges, I'll just tidy those up with these tin snips. Okay, so that's the hole put in for the speaker. Now I'm just going to get some, uh, some galvanised spray. Just to protect the metal from rusting. I'll just give it a quick. I'm going to leave that to dry for a few minutes. It dries very quickly in this heat. So what I'm going to do now is I need to uh, I need to get the speaker cable through the door and into the cab of the uh, Ute. and in order to do that there's a couple of grommets here I need to undo the insulation tape that's on there feed the cable through then I can connect the cable up to the original where the original speaker was um, so uh, when you join me next time I should have the cable in I won't uh, bore you with the fiddly task of getting the grommets back in and back out and getting the cable through it's uh, very tedious fiddly job so uh, I'll catch you again shortly when I've got the uh, when I've got the speaker wire in place see you in a minute hi back again um, as you can see uh, the speaker is now in place I've routed the speaker cable through the door I've retaped up the grommets they're all back in place so all I have to do now is make the connection to the speaker the factory speaker wiring loom. So what I'll do is the speaker is in here so I'll just carefully as I can Building with plastic clips and one little bolt. Right. So you can see the speaker there. I'm not going to leave the speaker in, I'm just going to whip that out because uh, I don't see any point in it being in there, it's not going to be used. So it's only held in, as you can see, with two little screws. Part of the reason why it sounds so awful is because it isn't mounted to anything uh, solid. Uh, speakers really do need to be mounted to a, a solid base. That's why uh, speaker manufacturers spend a lot of money on R&D when it comes to uh, their speaker cabinets. Because the speaker cabinet, or the way that it's mounted, is critical to how well the speaker sounds. These are just mounted into a basically a plastic aperture with no real backing to them. So that's the speaker out. Just undo that clip there. That's the uh, original factory speaker. It's uh, and it's made by Pioneer, um, so it's made by a reputable company. But it's not a particularly great quality speaker, as you can see. You know, so um, you know, just compare the two. <laughs> Big difference there, isn't there? 
Okay, so uh, I'll put that to one side. Now I've got the uh, speaker cable here, so I'm just going to undo the uh, tape that's on here, and then I'll cut off the uh, the plug, strip back the wire, so that I can uh, connect them up. I will be soldering the connection. You should always, always solder your connections. So you get a much better, you get a much better um, connection if it's soldered. So there's two wires there. One's, one's pink and one's a purple. I don't know at this stage which is live and which is uh, and which is the ground. So I do have a, a wiring diagram. So I've cut the wire long, and the reason I've done it this way is so that if I do eventually change the head unit, I can, uh, I've got enough length in the cable to go up here later on. So I'll just work out how much I'll need if I do that, so let's just say about that much. For the purposes of uh, what I'm doing now, the uh, factory speaker wires are more than adequate. which so I went on uh, Google and I googled Toyota audio wiring loom to get the uh, as you can see so this is the uh, front left so it's saying the pink wire is positive and the purple wire is the negative. So on this wire I've got a positive which is this one. So this one goes to the pink. This one goes to the purple. So I'm just going to uh, do that up. I'm just waiting for the uh, soldering iron to warm up. So what I'll do is I'll solder these two connections, I'll bundle this wire up, tuck it inside here, cable tie it inside and then uh, I'll be able to test the speaker. Now, yesterday I already installed the uh, driver's side speaker, um, so this is uh, me completing the job. I thought I'd make the video on the installation of the passenger side door once I'd figured out how I was going to do it and then it would make for a more seamless uh, video. So, uh, yeah. There is a grill mesh to go on there. In fact, I'll put that on now while I'm waiting for the soldering iron to warm up. That looks great. Okay, so. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit of uh, something to put down on the floor, just a bit of solder, but we're burning the carpet.
Beautiful. So that's the uh, connection soldered. Let's put that somewhere out of the way where I can't burn myself. So I just need to uh, put this cover back on. Reinstall this uh, plastic trim. And that's uh, essentially job done. Now I'll just uh, test to see the speakers working. Six FM Perth, real gold, but better music and more of it. Another big hour coming up on the cafe this week. We're celebrating oh. the artists who are on stage today uh, at Ascot for the Kickstart Summer of Music concert. So uh, I've already played some Barnsey. I'll play some Mossy right after the eleven o'clock update. Uh, I'll play some Daryl Braithwaite, some Thirsty Merc as well. So many great acts on stage. Don't forget uh, Phil Jamison from Grinspoon and also End of Fashion part of that show today. Uh, you can find out more at 96fm.com.au. We'll check in with the newsroom next and then get on with the cafe on 96fm. It's warming up in Perth. So let's hit the streets. Find the 96fm street. Well, I think we can safely say that that was a success. So that sounds so much better um, compared to the original speakers. I can't wait to get some CDs in there now. I've not played any CDs in this CD player because... It just wasn't worth it. The sound was so crap. So I can't wait to get some um, some rocking tunes happening in here now. I've got some decent speakers. So please tell me what you think. Um, like this video. Share this video. And um, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, um, tick the little uh, bell so that you get the notifications. And um, comment below. Until next time, Mike signing off.